G'day, we're just spending some time in the word under this beautiful Japanese maple here out at my friend's house in Tenderfield. And we've been looking at uh, Thessalonians. You know, <laughs> if you don't know what to do in life, there's a beautiful verse in Thessalonians and it's easy to remember because there's a little ditty that goes with it. And it goes like this. 1 Thessalonians 5.22 will tell you exactly what to do. So if you're ever worried about what to do, have a listen to that. 1 Thessalonians 5.22 will tell you exactly what to do. And it says this, abstain from every form of evil. <laughs> if you're being tempted, just abstain. Just listen to the word of God. But the next verse, it's got some fantastic promise in it that we all should treasure. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 says this. It's a prayer. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful. He will surely do it. You know, that's our journey. Once we've discovered that Jesus is the only way to the Father and we want to go there, we follow him, we listen to him, we obey his words, but then God does the sanctifying. God, sanctification really means to be set apart, to be made holy. Uh, it differs in several ways from justification. We're justified by faith when we first believe in Jesus. In other words, we're not guilty. All the sins we've committed in our life, we're forgiven, we're cleansed, we're made whole, we're, we're um, born again. And then, after that justification, we are sanctified, we're set apart. And it's a process that begins with justification and continues throughout our life. Justification is only the starting point of the line that represents one's Christian life. Sanctification is the line itself. So we're all on a journey to being sanctified. And it's the God of peace himself, as that verse says, who will completely make your whole spirit and body be kept blameless at the coming of the Lord. He wants his children. There's some beautiful parrots there. Wow. Lovely parrots. I think they might be king parrots. He wants his children to be images of his son. We, we're to grow in the image of Christ and then form part of what he calls the bride of Christ. And he's coming back for his bride. Jesus is coming back for his bride, his family, who have been all through their life uh, growing in his image and be, we become like Jesus so that we can be Christ to the world. We're not sanctified for our own purposes. We're set apart and, and made holy because he is holy, but, but so that we can be a blessing to the people around us. A fantastic promise there that God of peace himself will sanctify us completely and make us whole in spirit, soul and body and kept blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. A little meditation from under the Japanese maple tree. You stay in the word and may the word stay in you. Have a great day.